people in China have come together to donate money to a primary school student whose hair completely froze over after walking to school. Wang Fuman, who attends the Zhuanqinbao Primary School in the Zhenji Township of China, is forced to make an hour-long journey to school each day wearing nothing but a thin winter coat in conditions as cold as minus 9 degrees. On one occasion he had to sit in a classroom with no central heating and take an exam. The weather conditions are so harsh in his part of China that his eyebrows and hair have been covered in frost, which has led to him being dubbed Frost Boy or Snowflake Boy. Some reports claim Wang is aged 8, while others write he's that 10, it seems minuscule when compared to the heartbreaking picture which has come to symbolize, and bring to light, the massive gap between China's rich and poor. Despite having one of the world's strongest and stable economies, Remind you of anywhere? Pictures also showed the effects the weather conditions have had on young Wang's hands, which have cracked up and wrinkled his skin, making it look a lot older. The photos taken by his headmaster Fu Hang have prompted Chinese citizens to donate generously to the Yunnan Youth Development Foundation and his underfunded school. At least 2,150,000 yuan, over 24,000 pounds has been raised. The state-governed foundation stated they would manage the funds on behalf of Wang, along with the local Zitong Youth Development Foundation. Speaking to Metro Headmaster Hang said, it was the first day of their final exams. The temperatures dropped to minus 9 degrees Celsius in about 30 minutes that morning. It was revealed that Wang, who is known as the class clown, doesn't live with his parents as they are currently working in the city in order to earn higher wages. A statement from the foundation confirmed that each student at will receive at least 500 yuan, 56 pounds and 60 pence. However, some donators have voiced their concern in regards to the funds being managed and controlled by the government-based charity. In a response to this, a spokesperson told the Mail Online the funds they receive will not only help Fuman, but others in a similar situation as him as well.